Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Idiom Brewing Company and they are based out of Frederick, Maryland and this is their Yes Please. It is a taproom only exclusive which is why I have it in a crawler here. Um, this is a hibiscus blonde ale and that is about all I know about this beer other than it comes in at 5% ABV and was released in the tap room yesterday so I guess I could give you a quick little view of the crowler can art if you've been watching my channel you know that they have some pretty neat can art the uh, crowler can art still has their little hop dudes on it kind of cool all right I was doing a bunch of yard work today and very much looking for a nice refreshing uh, beer so I'm hoping this fits the bill They've done something with hibiscus before. They came out with a farmhouse ale last year with hibiscus. It was around this time. I remember enjoying it. Can't remember exactly what kind of a score I gave it, but. It looks like it has a similar coloration to the uh, Hibiscus farm ale last year. Let's see if I, yeah. So that poured out a, I'd say a dark rose colored red with one finger or maybe I'd say half a finger of light pink tight soap sudsy head it's a pretty looking beer let's get a whiff yeah, if I could zoom So yeah, the uh, floral hibiscus notes uh, stand out uh, with this for sure. It smells really good. Um, it's a sweet floral note. If you are familiar with hibiscus, this is what hibiscus smells like. <laughs> also get some berry notes as well maybe like a slight strawberry other than that that's that's about all I get so I'm gonna dive in cheers mmm okay there's a lot of carbonation in this, very spritzy and crispy, I would say. Yeah, it's very effervescent, like on the tip of my tongue and on the side. It's, it's very good. In terms of flavor, it, it reminds me of like a carbonated hibiscus tea. You have that sweet floral hibiscus uh, flavor to it. I am getting like nondescript red berry uh, it, it, later on in the palate. But this is 
light and refreshing, crushable. It has the sweetness to it, but it's not is nowhere near a to my palate anyway a cloying, uh, cloyingly sweet. Yeah, I'd say uh, they did another real good job uh, using hibiscus in their beers. Again, last year they had a farmhouse, it was a farmhouse ale or a farmhouse saison called Rose Colored Glasses. I'll have to go back and, and check it out, but this is very reminiscent to that. has a bit of sourness um, later on in the on the finish almost ha almost has you puckering a little bit for a blonde ale that's different but I'm I'm enjoying it I like different Yeah, I'd say um, my, a mild sourness on the finish, but very effervescent, very crisp, very refreshing. 5% ABV, you can't tell. Um, well, I, say, <laughs> I guess this is what you would kind of expect for a 5% you know, beer. Uh, of course you're not gonna, you sure hope you're not gonna taste the alcohol. Yeah, this is great. I'm glad I got a crawler of it. I was a little concerned about having to get a crawler. I'm gonna go uh, enjoy the rest of this uh, outside and enjoy the sun. It's a beautiful day out. So, uh, a rating for this. Idioms, yes please, hibiscus blonde ale. I know this isn't the type of style for everybody, but for me, I really enjoy this. Um, I'm going to give this a 4.3. I'm going to give this a 4.3. Uh, if there was a little bit more um, body to this, I would bump it up a little bit. It, it's, it's light for what I would uh, consider a blonde ale. I would want a little bit more body to it. But other than that, the flavor is great uh, and it's light, crisp, and refreshing, exactly what I wanted here. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, drop a comment down below. What do you think of the hibiscus infused beers? Have you had hibiscus infused beers? Um, this is only my second one that I can remember, and so far, I'm enjoying them. So, until next time, peace.